All right, so this is a map of uh, Austin with no solar. Uh, we, we got the first solar incentive program started in 2004. Um, so we're not going to spend too much time on this map because I'm going to flip to the next one, which, which shows you all the actual solar that has been installed as of uh, 2010. And so we'll do that again where we'll go, uh, we'll go back to no, no projects and then we'll jump forward. And every one of these uh, uh, green dots and uh, blue dots actually represents how much solar we've been able to do. So it shows you, you know, the power of uh, government incentives. When we got that uh, rebate started in 2004, we came out with $5 per watt of a rebate. And um, at the time, we didn't do a lot of analysis about should it be $4, should it be $6, $5 seemed to be the sweet spot. And we were right. Although uh, there wasn't a, a lot of uptick yet in 2004 and 2005, the program hasn't really taken off in a big way until more recently. Uh, you know, currently the rebate is uh, okay. One and a quarter. A dollar and a quarter. A dollar and a quarter. But it did start out at five at uh, five dollars. Okay, so here's here's the Austin uh, Solar PV rebate program statistics uh, for uh, the last uh, fiscal year. So this is 2016. And so we installed like over four megawatts of uh, solar in, in that fiscal year. All right, just to give you some perspective, a typical home system will be about uh, three kilowatts, which would be like 3,000 watts, and one megawatt would be like a million watts. Okay, so, so four megawatts is uh, a lot of solar in one year just for one city. Uh, because when you compare that to uh, the overall uh, solar capacity since we started the incentive program, uh, that represents like 36% of the capacity was done just in fiscal year tw uh, 2013 compared to uh, the overall to date cumulative of 12. So, so in one year we, we added four on top of uh, what would have been about eight that was in place, and we've added, uh, you know, 63% more in just one year. And when you look at the actual projects, uh, what you see is uh, for residential that uh, from the beginning of the rebate program, there's been 2,629 uh, homes that have gone solar, and uh, 719 of those did that in fiscal year 2013. So you know, so 27% of all homes. Uh, that have done solar now did it just recently. Um, and then looking at the budgets uh, for the incentives, it was a $7.35 million budget uh, for fiscal year 2013. And what we were pleased to see is that the city has uh, uh, come up with you know, $7.5 million. Uh, so they're continuing the, um, the, the funding of their rebate programs and their uh, performance-based incentive programs for commercial projects uh, this year. Um, so that's, uh, that's good news. And we expect to see really uh, even more uh, solar being installed um, this fiscal year than, uh, than uh, last year. The, uh, uh, the City Council uh, created a what they call a local solar advisory board and um, the LSAC, uh, I was very pleased to be able to serve on this myself. Uh, but um, we actually have uh, challenged the city to think really, really big. You know, 400 megawatts of solar by the year 2020. Uh, right now, they've actually got uh, a 200 megawatt goal. But we believe that uh, more than double that could actually be accomplished. Of that 400 megawatts, uh, we actually want 200 of that to actually be local because we believe in you know, building sustainable communities, we believe in um, creating jobs here at home, and um, you know, one thing about solar on people's homes and businesses is that you know, it's not the type of thing that can be um, you know, outsourced. I mean, it, it leads to local community strength and jobs, and so we have a, a goal for local, 
And the city council actually, just at the end of last year, said that indeed half of whatever goal we have for solar um, needs to include local solar and not just be solar power plants out in West Texas, for instance. West Texas is a pretty good site for solar uh, because of the solar resource is uh, you know, stronger there than what we have here, uh, but you don't get a lot of um, you know, sort of local economic benefit uh, from, uh, from those kinds of uh, projects. Even if we do 400 uh, megawatts by 2020, that would represent from 